Good evening, and it's very nice to be able to welcome you to this evening's Oxford London Lecture. Um, Oxford audiences are famously perceptive, so I'm sure you'll have noticed I'm not the new Vice Chancellor, Louise Richardson, or even a moderately convincing imitation of her. Um, I know that some of you who were hoping to meet her for the first time will be disappointed, and she's asked me to tell you that she's very sorry she can't be here with you all tonight, uh, so that I am going to introduce the lecture in her stead. I'm Nick Rawlins, Professor of Behavioral Neuroscience, Pro Vice Chancellor for Development and External Affairs, just back from actually visiting a vaccine center in Sao Paulo in Brazil, where another frightening infectious disease is hitting the headlines right now. Some people like to claim that universities undertake research and training which is obscure, detached, and frequently trivial or irrelevant. And you'll be surprised to hear I don't agree. If we could see into the future, of course, we'd know exactly what we ought to be doing, but even Oxford isn't 100% reliable as a community of fortune tellers. And the ability to ask the right original questions gather and analyze data, and draw and clearly present conclusions is an invaluable and transferable skill that can be learned across a wide range of different research contents. But that said, the research that you'll hear about tonight could scarcely be more directly relevant to the world we're in. The West African Ebola epidemic started in 2013. The World Health Organization described it as the most severe acute public health emergency seen in modern times. It killed over 11,000 people, left an estimated 22,000 children orphaned, and of course was responsible for countless other fatalities from the hospital closures and healthcare disruption which it brought about. The epidemic has not been officially declared over. Isolated cases are still coming to light. The Ebola virus was first identified in 1976, and there'd been notable outbreaks before 2013, but it wasn't until this last outbreak that serious work began on looking for a vaccine. Several vaccines were identified in the end that may be efficacious, and work is still going on there too. Tonight's speaker, Professor Adrian Hill, was the pioneer of one of these vaccines. But no vaccine is yet in general use. Why? did the world of medical science take so long to respond to the crisis? And would we be any better responding to another in the future? Professor Hill will be providing some thoughts on that tonight. So that's exactly what the Oxford London Lecture is for, to take some of the best of Oxford's research, lay it before a wider audience, and an audience that tonight contains representatives from Whitehall, Westminster Civic Society, academia, it shows how cutting-edge research underpins the solutions to so many of the world's major problems. It makes a link between the staff in white coats in laboratories and life and death issues. And it's because getting this message across is so important that I'm delighted that for the second year running, The Times is our media partner for this event. So, on with the, the main event for the evening. I'd like to welcome to the stage Professor Adrian Hill, his day job is to develop a malaria vaccine, another tough nut. But tonight, he'll deliver the 2016 Oxford London Lecture, Vaccines for Ebola. <laughs> 